I buy the stuff, like they say, that really puts a smile on my face that I want to drive. That's what I like to buy. The best cars with the best drive. John's done a great job uh, putting together a great group of cars uh, with great provenance and great history. He's very meticulous in the care of his cars. He's done a great job keeping up uh, the level of the cars because these cars are uh, 40 and 50 years old now and without that care they can, they can deteriorate very quickly. The 1969 um, Chevy Copo Camaro, it's a 17,000 mile original car. I think if you can get into any car that's low production, like a Chevrolet Copo Camaro, I mean, there's not, there's not much that um, is different on the car at first glance, but when you open that door and that door buzzer goes off, it's a 1969 car. But that car, once again, with 17,000 miles, it's just, you could take the wheels off it today and put it up on jack stands. That's how nice it is. The 69 Copo Camaro's, uh always been one of my favorite cars just because uh, when you look at it it's it's just so plain uh, but when you delve into the cars it's 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 a true muscle car the 1968 Hemi Dart um, was originally done by Bill Goldberg that was his car it's a 707 horsepower Ray Barton Hemi it's kind of like shift to put it in gear and hang on just a great car I think that car will lift the wheels off actually when you just look at the car, it's just an animal of a car. Just when you hear the car turn over, you feel like you're at the drag strip and uh, back in 1968, ready to see uh, one of the Dodge Darts that were dominating in the time. So it's a great car and uh, really interested to see what uh, something like that will do when it crosses the block. He's definitely put together a pair of great big block challengers uh, with the 446 pack and the 426 Hemi. The uh, 1970 uh, Hemi Challenger RT is in gold mangle on a black interior. Yeah, definitely one of Mopar's great colors. Mopar Collector's Guide made a footnote in the story on that car that they called it a reference restoration. So not a frame off, not a body off, but reference, which is a really interesting term. And they followed it up by saying, if you couldn't be impressed with the restoration on this car, then you could not be impressed. It's that nice of a car. The black one drew me because of its originality. It's a 1970, 42,000 mile, 446 pack, original Challenger RT, block on black, one owner for 42 years when I bought that car. It's an original car that's that stood the test of time and, and uh, uh, both cars will very excited to see when they uh, hit the auction block. He's got the 68 Shelby GT500 KR Fastback. Uh, probably one of the most iconic Shelbys is the King of the Road GT500. And he's got a 12,000 original mile MCA gold thoroughbreded, which in itself is a great car. But this car's a 10 time winner of the award. There's Conqueror's quality, there's trailer gold, and there's a class called the Thoroughbred Elite, which means that each part on that car must be 1968 or older. In fact, the way it came from the factory, this particular Shelby has won that award 10 consecutive years in a row. This one is a low mileage, 12,000 mile, 1968 Shelby, king of the road. So on one hand, you have super low miles, but on the other hand, couldn't be replaced. The driveline parts that we have on that Shelby, I think at this point are probably irreplaceable. I mean, a 1968 exhaust with the Shelby roll tips, the tires are original from 68, it's just, I don't think you'd find those parts again. The John Wickey collection is going to be the main attraction and feature of our uh, our second annual Seattle auction. His personality and his style uh, really fits it fits in with the Meekum auction theme and uh, and what we do. So I think it's going to be uh, real successful. <laughs>